guys welcome to charger games this is Raja and in this video we're gonna learn about how to instantiate or create new game objects so let's get started so if before you learn how to instantiate game objects you will you have to learn something called prefabs prefabs are pre-made game objects are uh, which you can reuse again and again suppose I create a ball and I make it a prefab so in the game whenever I have to make a ball I will just take that prefab and create a ball take that prefab and create a ball so that prefab means a reusable game object so I can use the same thing again and again instead of creating one from scratch okay so here I'm gonna create 3d object sphere okay and I'm gonna okay let's uh, keep it right there and I'm gonna attach a Add component physics to the rigid body 2D. Okay, first of all, I have to remove the collider because it has a 3D collider. So just go and remove this sphere collider from here. Just remove this uh, remove component, and now we're gonna attach physics to the rigid body 2D. So now, if I just go ahead and play it, it will just go down because of the gravity. So in order to make it a prefab, you can just put it inside this uh, assets or put it inside the inspector or project panel. Or you can create a special folder called prefab and name it prefab. And inside that folder, now we are inside this folder, we can drop this. And as you can see now it has turned blue so that means it is a prefab now and we can reuse this whenever we want okay so now let's go ahead and select it and delete it from the hierarchy because we can reuse it whenever we want from here now we want to instantiate that prefab and in order to instantiate something we always need a prefab okay so now I'm gonna create an empty game object and to that empty game object I'm gonna attach this script called test in which we are actually writing our code so from this empty game object we will instantiate this sphere again and again and again so we will create a lot of spheres and those will execute those will be created and those will go down so in the update function what we can do is um, Okay, first of all, we have to create a game object in which we can put the sphere. So inside here, we write a public game object ball. So now if I go here, if I select the game object, since it has the test script attached, now we can see ball and we have a slot here where we can put a game object. So here we can put this sphere prefab and drag it right here. Okay. So now we have access to this sphere by using this ball game object. Now we can easily instantiate that. So let's instantiate that in the start function. So in start function, I will write instantiate, and inside this, I will write ball. And then again, I can write the position and the rotation. For the position, I will write transform.position. And for the rotation, I will write transform dot rotation. By using transform dot position and transform dot rotation, I am using the default position and rotation of this game object with which this script is attached. Okay, so transform is the transform attached to the game object with which the script is attached. In this case, this one, and the position of this game object and the rotation of this game object and if you want to give this wall some something different for these positions and rotations you can do that as well okay so with that being said now since we have attached this script and since we have access to this prefab from here now when we run the game as you can see the ball will be created since we have put it in the start function so that is why this ball is getting created and whenever we play this game this ball will get instantiated now if we want this ball to get instantiated every frame we can put that 
we can cut that and put that inside this update function now something horrible will happen because this wall will get instantiated again and again and again probably 30 times or 60 times a second and you will see why I am saying that now when I play this game as you can see thousands of ballers are getting created since update is called a lot of times a frame so a lot of balls are getting instantiated so fast okay so this was just for the demonstration purposes in the later videos we will learn more simple ways or more cool ways to instantiate this ball as an example in the later videos we will learn about inputs so we will create a mechanism by which whenever we press the mouse button or whenever we press the space bar on our keyboard we want the ball to be instantiated so we can also use that as a bullet so whenever we press the mouse button or whenever we press the space bar we want the ball to be instantiated and go in a certain direction so we'll learn more about these things in upcoming videos so thank you guys for sticking with me and learn something for more useful tutorials just make sure to check out the link in the description i have put a lot of uh, useful videos in the link in the description so see you in the upcoming videos and keep learning